Um, great bunch of people, really interesting, very diverse range of, of people are here. We've got lots of OEMs, we've got some uh, people who are in active consideration in the marketplace. It's great to talk to some of them. They've been asking a lot of excellent questions. Um, great to meet some faces from last time and just see what's going on in, in the journey in the last 12 months and talk about what's new and what's, what's changing and um, really sort of start to connect and create genuine networks rather than just sort of meet and greets and, and one off. So, yeah, you start to feel like you're part of a, a, a true yellowfin club, if you will, rather than just sort of a, a one off event. Great question. The, um, the complexity of data within our marketing managers. Um, business or organisation that they work with them uh, is really diverse uh, and it's really disjointed um, and a lot of marketing managers out there are really disillusioned and challenged by trying to bring together really diverse um, data sets and actually make common sense out of them. Um, what we've done with Lightbox is we've turned it into a place where that data can be joined together, it can be compared on a like-for-like -like basis and it enables marketers and businesses around them to make informed choices and decisions about their advertising. And the net result of that is that they're getting anywhere between 15 and 45 percent benefit to their bottom line, and either savings from their advertising budget, or uh, incremental customers um, and gains from creating more from less. So uh, it's fairly straightforward on a, on a rational uh, side. Yeah, interesting. Um, from a from a sales perspective. Um, one of the one of the fascinating things we come across is that not everyone wants to know the truth, and that makes it enormously challenging. Um, uh, as a result, a, from a marketing perspective, it means that we've had to really start to refine and I hate to say it, perhaps dumb down and start to consider dumbing down the way that we're taking the product to market, uh, so that it's it's perhaps less confronting, bizarre. Uh, and yet, the you know the extraordinary um, information that can come out of the platform um, can offer so much more. And, and really, once we do engage people, that the lights come on, and that's brilliant. From a technical perspective, um, massive lessons in, in terms of um, trying to construct efficiencies around all those data relationships. Uh, there's an awful lot going on in order to bring two very disparate areas of data, call it stimulus and behaviour, together to, to draw those relationships. It's not classic BI. In classic BI, we're, we're taking a, a data set and we're interrogating a data set. Here we're trying to integrate, interrogate two, to a very fine grain level, to, to an event level, if you will, and draw relationships um, across um, Queryable, uh, queryable date ranges. And so, in other words, I can create my own rules, look at my own periods, and look at those comparisons. It's quite complex. It's really simple on a whiteboard. It's quite, actually quite hard to do in reality. Uh, what we see um, is lip service paid to yes, I want to understand what my marketing is doing for me, particularly from from marketing managers, if you will, not necessarily at the highest level, at the CMO or the CFO, or the COO level, but. Um, but when people are genuinely held to account in an end, in an area of business that for many years has never been as accountable as finance, as accountable as the metrics around operational performance, um, really we try to turn on the light in a very dark room, a room that's been dark and comfortable. Um, as a result, people say, yeah, yeah, I want to understand what's happening, but when you confront them with the opportunity, a lot, a lot tend to shrink back, and that's that's been a little bit disconcerting. So one of the ways that we, we're doing it is, is rather than taking it to that um, to that very sort of confronting analytical analysis sort of area, is saying it's an information platform you can run some. You know what I mean? Um, we'll dial it up again and and, and change it as as we get a bit of groundswell. But for now, uh, we're in a, in a world where we're we're just trying to get some some market penetration again. And get more advocates on board. Get your data sorted. Yeah. Get your data sorted and get your data sorted. If your data is clean and usable, you can get an enormous amount of value out of any BI platform, in particular Yellowfin, and taking it onto that analytics um, into the analytics spectrum. If your data is unusable, you can't get any benefit or any gain. Get your data sorted. It's that simple. And less is more.
You actually don't need as much as you think you do to get some brilliant insight. So when we say get your data sorted, it's not it's, it's not sorting your whole universe. It's sorting the bits that count. You get eighty percent of your value from twenty percent of the information, and then once you crack that, then you move on and get the next eighty out of the next twenty. But it becomes diminishing as you go over time. Yeah, interesting question. Someone just asked me that before. The um, there were a couple of cool things about Yellowfin that were um, of, of genuine benefit for us. Um, one was, in, and, and we've been with Yellowfin, I guess, for a couple of years now, and across various iterations. One that was really important to us is that we, we're building a, a product, if you will, it's an embedded um, application. And for us, multi-tenancy was crucial to ensuring that we had something that was extensible uh, and that was scalable and that we could um, evolve over time. You know, that's an area that it's been a consideration of strength of, of your life in, um, for a long time. Um, it's a cool interface. It's easy to use uh, from, a, from a UX perspective. Um, people get it. They don't need a lot of training from our perspective on how to use filters, how to run reports. It's super simple and easy to deploy. Our biggest consideration is about how we train people to think to use our platform. So it's, it's not a mechanical, um, it, it's, it's a culture. But what we found in Yellowfin and what we liked about Yellowfin is this collaborative de development approach. When we've had development issues, we've been able to express that to the people that can make the difference. Yeah. If we'd taken on a Tableau or whatever and, and needed something done, if it happened in three years, we'd be lucky. With Yellowfin, we can talk to the people that count and explain our need and have that assessed. And as we've found over the last 12 to 15 months in particular, get the two or three crucial things that we needed done, done so that we could move forward. Uh, and in a way that, that Yellowfin appreciated as much as we did. And it's been super important.